I thought that was a culmination of us really starting the game nice, nice and sharply and brightly and aggressive. You know, we had some good ball possession and some good movement. And in that play, you know, Kevin Venegas really started the playoff by really solving the problem well, getting out of a tough spot and got the ball to Omar. And yeah, the quality of Omar's switch really set up the play. And I think the unique thing was Lucas's decision to play a one-touch ball, which is was a great ball because it's technically very hard to, to do that. And then also, you know, if he puts that too short, it goes to the defender. If it gets too long, it goes right to the goalie. So he put in the perfect spot where it really froze both the defender and the goalie and gave Pablo the opportunity to really find the space to run. And, you know, Pablo still had some work to do. You know, he really had to be clever with his finish. I think if he tried to raise it or hit it too hard, the goalie would have saved it. But he saw the right spot to put it away. I think mentally getting the goal was a nice reminder that the good play you are rewarded eventually and I, I think it gave us a boost in terms of reminding ourselves that we've been playing good soccer the last couple of weeks um, and again it was not easy. You know, Fort Lauderdale came back at us, they're a good team as well. After they scored they kind of had a good couple moments of uh, you know coming at us but I thought you know we decided to finish half off pretty well and we started attacking in waves and sometimes that's when you score them is when you really are attacking well and you, you have that aggression say hey we want to get a goal um, so it was just nice to see, uh, you know, a scrappy goal because that's what you need sometimes in this game is you need those to, to, to set up the good ones. And I look at Pablo's third goal as, as a, you know, a true forwards goal where, you know, something happens where he sees a, a way to poke the ball that's in a spot where the goalie's not ready for it. Um, that's what forwards are, are really good at is uh, finding different ways and not just the, the beautiful goals, but the, uh, you know, the gritty goals that, uh, you know, are unexpected. I was very excited for him, you know, again, um, he's worked really hard all year and, uh, you know, I, I thought um, early on, you know, he had one chunky um, ball that he was trying to clear, uh, went to their team, uh, the shot went right back to him. In some ways, I think that moment kind of reminded him, it doesn't matter, I'm out here, I've been training hard all year, I'm fit, um, I'm ready to go mentally and physically, and, and I thought uh, that moment kind of woke him up. And like I said, you know, the soccer game presented some challenges and he uh, he really stepped up and, and closed the angles down. You know, I think if you look at Fort Lauderdale's the very best chance of the game, it happened in the second half. Uh, Martin Nunez, uh, you know, beat pitch pretty well and, uh, you know, he squared the ball across the, the penalty spot. And if you look at Mitch's decision to really close down the angle, um, the reality was when the Paul pass was made, the goal was pretty big. But by the time the guy took a touch, Mitch was there where the goal uh, didn't have the same angles for him to score at it. And, you know, I think really Mitch should get credit for that save because he forced the guy to miss hit it. For the final time in his career, after 10 years of professional soccer in Minnesota, he'll be welcome number six, Kevin Friedman. I loved it because I think it kind of shows what he's given to this club. Uh, you know, he's given his heart and love to the club for so many years. And, you know, he walked off the field helping the team win a game. And I think that says it all about Kevin and says it all about, uh, you know, you, you couldn't have written it better that, you know, we had to put him in the game. A huge moment for the team, you know, up a goal, um, you know, coming into a game to see how he can finish it out. And again, it wasn't just 10 minutes. It was a significant part of the game. So it took him a little time to get warmed up, but again, by the second half, I thought he was firing it all cylinders in terms of helping us manage the game to make sure we walked off the field with the win.